short time after the first Kelly series were completed, Nolan embarked on his series of Birkin Wheels. Now, this is the famous Australian adventurer, explorer, tragic story of the uh, party, excessively overburdened with baggage that set off from Melbourne to find their way towards to the Gulf of Carpentaria and allowed themselves a huge amount of time and of course the exhibition was a failure and led to the deaths of the leaders of the exhibition, Burton Wills. It was a very sad story but it became almost a byword for that kind of mad dogs and Englishmen exploring uh, uh, impetus that was around um, during the Empire, the British Empire. And of course Burke and Wills were heroes of the British Empire. So Nolan's initial series uh, painted in 1948 of this group of paintings, or of Burke and Wills, typically is rather like the uh, first Kelly series, uh, almost uh, folky in its approach. It's got a narr strongly narrative quality. You see the individual incidents, the departure from Melbourne. <clears throat> and then later on, uh, as Nolan's ideas developed and as his work uh, evolved, he changes his ideas about these subjects. And so the second series takes a completely different view. Um, instead of having all the individual incidents that occurred during uh, the expedition, he shows a man and a camel, and the man is often nude. So the painting has been completely pared back. But in this second series, painted in the 60s, the early 60s, from about 1964 for several years, you see these alienated, haunted figures alone in the stark desert. And these are scary pictures. They become, uh, you become really aware of the nature of man exposed and at the edge of um, physical um, abilities. And they become kind of elegiac images. They, they have this um, slightly haunting, romantic quality about them. Nolan used these concepts, Kelly, and Birkin Wills and others as a kind of coat hanger to hang ideas on, hang concepts on and bounce ideas around. Birkin the Camel is a very interesting example of how this technique works. Mm -hmm.